You got George the Boxing Genius tying up a dog, man. What are you doing? I'm trying to get this dog set up so he could uh, more or less stay his ass that man is straight. Whose dog is that? That's your dog? It's my daughter's dog. Babysitting this dog. But, you know, babysitting don't get paid for it. That's <laughs> he he doesn't mess up. He done messed up your wall, man. Yeah, he done messed up a lot of my stuff. You look over there, I had to buy brand new leather furniture, too. Black furniture I had, he had messed that. Lucky I had, uh, you know. Who's fighting tonight? Well, tonight you got a couple of good fights, man. You know, not a couple of good fights. I, I, let me take that back. You guys must see my video. Fighting tonight is going to be Danny Garcia, the 140 champ. I'm going to fight this one guy that, like I said, I don't know who the hell he is. Nobody heard of him. Named Rod Soccer. He's from the other side of Pennsylvania because he's from the east side and Soccer's from the west side. They can play somewhere. But, you know, like I said, who the hell is this guy? I don't know. I don't think nobody knows who he is. And whoever's, whoever does know, please comment on this. All I know is that he was a, a soldier in Iraq. So you don't think he's, he was ranked at the time? He ain't no rank. How the hell you? If I don't know him, how the hell he's going to be ranked, man? You think it's going to be a good fight? That ain't going to be no damn good fight. That shit is all set up like I said. What's your fight prediction? You think real, uh, not real, so Danny Garcia's going to win this fight? Danny Garcia should knock this guy out before the fifth round. And if he don't do that, then he's a joke. And like I said, you've seen uh, Mike Tyson's been doing some fights, man. He got some good fighters. Mike, Mike Tyson uh, promotions. He's a, he's a promoter. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's on ESPN, too. I don't know about that, you know what I mean? That's good. I hope Tyson does get some a good bond under his belt. You know, maybe uh, he has a good challenge. Yes, you, think, you think he'll, be, he'll do a better job than 50 Cent? Who, Tyson? <laughs> Hell yeah. Tyson's a boxer. 50 Cent's all you know that good say. And rap. 50 cents uh, uh, Gamboa lost. Uh, lost yeah, Crawford. I, what, did, what was that last fight? I didn't get you, didn't even make a video for the Rios fight. Uh, Rio, that was a bullshit fight. That was a disqualification on that other dude. I don't know why they disqualified him. You know what I mean? Come on. You know, they were both fighting dirty, or you think yeah, Rios? They were both fighting dirty. You know, Rio said that he hit him, and they headbutted each other, and then there was pushing and shoving. You know, it don't make no sense. You, you know? think Rios is solid at 147, or he's washed up? Rios should go back to 140, maybe go back to 135, maybe become a bouncer. That's what he needs to fucking do. Rios versus Prodnikov. You think that'll be a good fight? Prodnikov will kick his ass. You think so? Prodnikov knock him out. Prodnikov didn't lose the fight against that bum out Jerry. What about what about Rios versus uh uh what's his name? Who Alvarado? You know what he did. Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner? Versus Rios. Yeah, probably Rios would give him a good fight, but Adrian Broner could probably beat him because he ain't moving nowhere. So, Bro you know, Broner could just, it's like hitting the punching bag. You so, you don't, you don't think Rios is a good opponent? For who? I mean, for Pacquiao. For Pacquiao, Pacquiao. So, <laughs> Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the boxing oh. genius is a Pacquiao fan. Oh. But Pacquiao fought Rios, Everybody and you call Rios as a bum. Don't think about this. What does that? Would Mayweather say? ever fight Rios? Hell what, no. Hell no. What? What did everybody say about Pacquiao when he got knocked the fuck out by Mr. Marquez? <laughs> oh, he's not the same guy no more. He's not the same. Guy. You're getting set up. See, my, look. I, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Why? I got a question you for you. Why is Pacquiao fighting Algeria? Please explain that to me. I'm telling you why. Between all Hey, hold on. Before, if Mayweather was to fight Algeri, how would you feel about that? How would I feel about it? Well, how would you feel about that? If who? If Mayweather fought Algeri. How would I feel about you'd it? You'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. You'd be calling him a pussy. So why are you calling him uh, Pacquiao what pussy? What did I just say? Uh, why, am I, why am I calling him Pacquiao pussy? Because you think you're not Pacquiao. calling him Pacquiao pussy? Pacquiao, yes I did before. Yes I did. He fight. He doing the same shit made with us. Catch weight, finds bums. All these promoters are setting up to make money, hoping that the big fight goes. They're hoping one side, Showtime, on Mr. Mayweather's side. Look at it. He's setting up fight Madonna again. Now I'm going to ask you a goddamn question, anybody out there. No, no, no. Madonna is more of a legitimate opponent hey, if you than Algeria. 
if you beat him the first time, then why the hell you fight him again? I don't know. I can't defend that. I'll tell you why he fight him again. He's after that 49 and 0. One, he doesn't want to. People are saying. I want to see him fight Lada. That would be a good fight. Let me tell fight. you something. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. This bullshit about, I said it before, between FMJ, which is TPOB of boxing, this bullshit that he's doing with these promoters sucks. You know why? Let me tell you. Hold up, slow down. This guy's looking like 49 and 0. Now, why don't you go fight a Sean Porter? Why don't you go fight a goddamn Keith Thurman? Or a lot, a lot of 154. Why don't you go fight even a lot of who just lost against Canelo? But you know what's the problem? They set shit up for Mayweather. The same shit, that's why Garcia's fighting this guy that we don't even goddamn know. So what happens September the 13th, people? Mayweather, oh, I got a surprise. He got a surprise for you, man. Who got a surprise? He got a surprise for you. Who is a surprise? Danny Garcia is my surprise. I know that shit already. You ain't surprising me. Who the hell are you surprised? You ain't surprising me. And then check this out. He is going to defend. Okay. No, no, hold up, hold up. This is how much this bullshit box is going. Well, why, why aren't you saying anything about Pacquiao and Algeria? You ain't asking me about Pacquiao. Well, I, just said, I did ask you about uh, Pacquiao. Who, who the hell is Algeria fighting Pacquiao? That's what I'm saying, too. Uh, hey, Pacquiao, another pussy. Why the hell is he fighting a guy that he just beat Rodnikov? Well, now, take that back. Rodnikov was swabbed, just like. Mauricio Herrera was robbed, so they set the shit up. Okay, I don't want to hear this bullshit about boxing. How in the hell? This is my question to the to the top people in boxing: FMJ, Floyd Mayweather fans. How in the hell are you going to defend a title, a 154-pound title, against a guy from 140? Madonna came from 140. He fought at 147. He fought twice. Twice. So, hey, has he fought at 154, legit 154? So how the hell are you going to permit a guy to go and defend a title? They're comparing. Look, let me tell you something. We don't know shit about boxing. Mr. Soliman, his father, not Mauricio, the one now. Yeah, well, Manny Pacquiao fought Brandon Rios. Oh, no. Man, Manny Pacquiao fought Brandon Rios for the first time at 147. Hey, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not talking about Mr. Pacquiao and Brandon Rios. I am talking about or Mr. Soliman, the WBC president, has just done and gave authority and privilege to Mr. Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's how much of an ass kicking people are right now. That's how much they kiss his ass. He got the money. Listen to what I'm saying. Jose Soliman, his father, before he passed away, told his ass, you better defend your title, and you're going to defend your title against who? Mr. Pacquiao. He was ranked, he was going to rank him number one. If you guys recall that last year, okay? In 2008, Soliman also told him he has to fight one and two. And what did Mr. Mayweather do? He retired from boxing. And today, today, Mauricio Soliman, his son, takes over for WBC. And what does this bug do? He's comparing to Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard came from 140 and he fought light heavyweight. Okay, and you guys remember that at 175 when he won the title from Donnie Lalonde. Okay, and that same night he was fighting the vacant title at the 154 or something backwards. But he was fighting a legit boxer that has fought at that weight. How in the hell are you going to fight a guy from 140 and 147 and defend a title 154? Because you're scared of shit. That's what, well, what do you say about them people that say you don't know they shit about them? Kiss my ass and go fuck themselves. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look it up. 154. What is Madonna for than 154? <laughs> Tell me, how are you gonna defend a title against somebody never fought at that weight? He fought twice at that weight. At 154? No. No. So how are you gonna allow this guy to fight and defend his title against Madonna? Madonna never fought at that weight. What you need to do is solve man. You should, after this fight on September 13th, said, no, you're going to defend your title against what? At the 154? Against a legit 154. You know who you can fight against? Lada on the trail. Lada, yes. Even though he lost. What are you going to fight Lada? What are you going to fight James Kirkland? That'd be, huh? ass, that'd be a good ass fight. Huh? Or why don't you go up in ranks and you're comparing, Sully comparing to Sugar Ray Levy. 
Sugar Ray Leonard went up to the light heavyweight and fought the man. He fought Marvin Hagler at 160 and beat him. Right. So how are you going to compare this bum to, to Mr. Sugar Ray? Sugar Ray Mayweather can't tie Sugar Ray shoes. Maybe he got more money, TMT, and guess what? Think about this. T-P-O-B, that's the new name you got, the Pussy of Bafan. 